All right, so the welding project that I've been putting off on this trailer finally got done today. And uh, picked up the tractor. It had been at my buddy's for a few days. He borrowed it for a bit. And um, so these are the Harbor Freight D-rings. And um, I don't know what, remember what the rate, weight rating was, but they're substantial enough to hold my tractor. And anything else I'll probably put on this trailer. So I welded these front four with the MIG welder and um, just buzzed around here, buzzed around here and filled in the bolt holes right here and here and same with those now the mistake I made was right here where the original plan was to weld these on the side I was worried about that fulcrum effect um, stressing my welds and then I thought well I'll weld them right here on the top and that way the D-ring just falls over here and um, my buddy said if I put walls on here with the stake pockets I uh, want to put one on the front as well and then it wouldn't sit flush so here I can at least fold them up and um, drop the board in there and so I took his advice and did that well I wanted to raise this one up higher than the other three because it's the first one I did because the original plan was to make sure to get a good weld around the bottom here well when I moved it up here I welded across here and I burned through because this is thinner tube than this angle is right here so I burned through a couple times there I had to patch holes so I was like well that's not going to be as strong as having it lower so the subsequent ones I welded a little bit lower so if you're doing this just something to keep in mind now these are C-channel sides so they're pretty strong and pretty stout the D-rings on the side probably would have been fine uh, welded on but and then the back ones here um, welded these on with the if you watch any of my videos on the prime weld multi-process um, unit uh, I used the arc welder to weld these in and I made several passes I used 6718s here and 6013s over there on another one of my buddies advice try the 6013 rods and I like those as well um, so my welding um, I mean, I got good penetration, I got good uh, multiple passes, so I feel good about the strength and welded around here. Of course, these holes, though, these bolt holes, I welded with the MIG welder. Just It was just easier to get wire in there and get a bunch of heat in there um, with the MIG welder rather than trying to do it with a stick. And uh, so, I don't know, they came out okay. There's some undercut right there. Um, this is quarter-inch plate. Um, I did this on one of my buddy's advice to weld this plate on here and then weld the D-ring onto that weather and weld the D trying to weld the D-ring onto this little bit thinner stuff here. So this is actually tied into the side here and this is tied into the bottom back side here as well. So and the ramps have just been fantastic. I love being able to fold them up and down. The only other mod I did from, if you watched my last video on this, was this one stuck out kind of far. Um, actually, they did on both sides and I ended up cutting them off because I caught my shoulder a couple times while walking around the trailer. And uh, it didn't make it bleed or anything, but... And so I did this with the 6013, and those are pretty smooth rods. They burn pretty well, and at 90 amps. And so made several passes here, just mostly for fun. And um, so here's how we tied it down. Um, because the box blade is almost as wide as the trailer, it's six feet wide, um, what we did was we lowered the two outer scare fires lower than the middle ones so that the box blade didn't hit the ground and then we can run the strap under the box blade and then just run it around the D-ring there and back down there and that gave us room to tighten it over there and then the front here so part of this video is so I can watch it later if I'm hauling the tractor and I can't remember how I did it um, just around the bucket there and then there's two holes find those. right here that the straps hook in nicely. Same thing there. Okay. And it didn't move. I actually could have brought it a little bit further forward um, and not even hit the bucket on the box. Oh, the box is the other thing I just put on. So I welded it on. I welded the box on underneath and I welded it along the front edge because I was in a hurry and I thought that'd be faster than bolting it. Well, then I got worried about the frame flexing and breaking the weld, so I decided to go ahead and bolt it in. So I put a couple bolts in. This is a Harbor Freight box, it's about 100 bucks or so and cheap. And it's got a pretty good lock on it and it's roomy and holds my stuff, holds the jacks that we put on the back, we load and unload the heavy stuff and, and straps and whatever. Um, I need to get a collapsible. The only thing is the regular X-shaped lug nut wrench um, 
doesn't fit well in that. It takes up, you can't lay it down and you can't stand it up. So, and I don't know if this is just a bigger one than the average, but this won't fit in there. So I'm going to get a folding one tomorrow or see if I can find a little bit smaller one that'll fit in there. Just so I can have a lug wrench in there. I'll probably put a bottle jack in there as well, some heavy duty bottle jack, so that I can jack it up or, uh, yeah, probably put a bottle jack in there. That'll be the most useful thing. Okay, good. 